Hey guys, good morning. It has been a hot minute. Hold on just a second. Let me adjust. I feel like the light's really bad. Hold on just a second. <clears throat> Let's see if that's better. Is that a little bit better? Let's see. Hold on. Um, it's very dark in here. It's kind of dreary today. That might work. Let's see. All right, I think that's a little bit better. Sorry. Um, so it has been a hot minute since I have jumped on live and um, I kind of took a break over Christmas to just be with my family and um, but I kind of come back into oh gosh the light is so terrible guys give me just a second I don't know okay so it has been a hot minute but I have so much fun stuff going on and I just wanted to invite you all to be a part of it um, one of the things that we are doing hello from Alabama hey Shannon hi Wanda hi Connie um, so one of the things that we are doing as a family this year our kids are going through a transitional time let's just say I have a 10 year old and an 11 almost 12 year old and one of the things that honestly works really well with kids, and you probably all already know this, is positive affirmation. Um, and I found these hearts at Dollar Tree. They are doilies. There's 24 in a pack. And I have been writing on the doily and sticking it on their door. Um, something I love about them, maybe a Bible verse that would affirm them right now. So these are at Dollar Tree. It, I know it's not February 1st, but you can start anytime. This doesn't have to be a Valentine's thing. This can be, hey, Christy. Hi, Mary Jane. Hi, Francis. Hey, Alicia. Um, this can be an anytime thing. So guys, I would just say, if you see these, grab them and maybe affirm your kids or your grandkids, or even if you have grown kids, like they need to hear. When my mom says, Carrie, you're doing a great job, like that means so much to me. Um, hearing from someone else that, anyway. So maybe you even need to send these to your grown kids. Okay, next thing. We are painting in our private membership, which is closed right now, but I do have a fun giveaway that um, I will put the link uh, later on when I get back on my computer. Right now, I'm giving away a pack of like 30 welcome templates that I show you how to use graphite paper with to letter your door hangers, because lettering is one of the hardest things for people to do with their door hangers. Okay, so I have that. If I forget someone, please remind me to put that link in the comments or up above. All right, next thing. This morning, we are going to paint this. I found this at Dollar Tree. It's really thin. Um, I don't know that if you didn't have a covered porch, if it would hold up well outside, but it thought it was really cute and an inexpensive project that we could paint together. So I'm going to paint this. You can come back and paint it live or um, watch the video and repaint it if you want. So that's coming up today. Um, another thing, oh, so you friends know, you'll see this, how obsessed I am with big earrings. Well, um, as an entrepreneur, um, sometimes we find ourselves where like we need to make extra money to pay extra bills or whatever, and we work for ourselves. And so we have to, to just, um, come up with new ideas. So, Two weeks ago, I think it, I think we're in the third week. I started a group that all earrings are ten bucks, and I have like all these cute ones. Like I've got solids and prints, and oh my gosh, look at these! These are so stinking cute. Look how cute these are. Are these not adorable? Um, and then these, I wore these last week um, on a live. Like love them to pieces. So anyway, if you would like to be a part of that group comment below and I'll send you the link to that as well. Oh, and check these out. I thought these were really pretty. Aren't those so pretty? Um, another thing right now, because I know we're gnome obsessed and that's actually what we're painting this month in our private group. Anyone who would like to paint this, um, obviously if you're not in the private group, you don't get the video right now, but um, if you would like to paint it, I have extra tim or, um, cutouts that you can order. 
So you can jump on the website and look at wooden blanks and these are ready to ship. I have a limited number, so um, let me show you all what these look like. They cute. So this is where I used, um, and if you buy the template, this is what you get. So you would tape these together and then you would cut them out, okay? Good morning, good morning, guys. Um, so I'm gonna paint this live today with my private group, but I wanted to show you that I do have extra cutouts if anyone would like them. They are $22, I believe, on the website. And lastly, um, because, oh, did I show you this? Because we're gnome obsessed. This is, um, I found this at TJ Maxx. Look how cute it is. Isn't that so cute? And it was only $7.99, so I had to buy it. Um, and it just, these little bitty, I don't know, I love to decorate my house and for all the different seasons. So anyway, right now, TJ Maxx and stores like that, they have super cute gnome stuff. Um, and then the last thing I want to tell you guys is I became a stylist for um, Color Street nail wraps and I have samples. So if anyone wants to try these, they are amazing guys. Like I've fallen in love with them. Um, so if you want to try one, message me um, and I will get a sample out to you. All right, let's paint this morning. Let me grab my black. Okay. Um, hey, Nancy Kay, good morning. Hey, Lisa. All right, so normally I paint in, on either paper plates, I put my paint, or in egg cartons. But a couple weeks ago, when I was shopping at Aldi, I purchased squash. And it was on these trays. And so I've been using them. Hey, Cassie Owens, how are you this morning from Uberia? Is that how you say it? Kentucky? Um, so just look for things like this. Martha would love, would you love these, Martha? If so, um, say would love nail sample. And um, I can message you and get your address. Okay, friends, I'm going to get a couple other colors. I've got black, and I think I'm going to get white, gold, and brown. Let's try that. That's not white. Okay, if you... I'm great. How are you? Um, and Terry says it's her first time watching. Loretta, good morning, guys. Um... I'm a little bit of a hot mess, but you know what? Sometimes we just embrace that about us. Lisa wants to be in the earring group. I will add you or send you the link. I'll put all these links down there if y'all just remind me when I get off. Oh, there was something else I wanted to show you. Um, I've got like, I don't know. So since December 27th, um, I started Noom, which is like a weight loss, psychology-based weight loss program. Um, and I love it, but what I was going to tell you is I used to eat crap for breakfast. Like when I say that, like chocolate pop tarts or cocoa crispies, um, and I've lost 10 pounds, 10 pounds. Sylvia, I'm so glad that you're here. Um, yes, I will post it. I will post it later, but I wanted to show you one of my favorite snacks or breakfast. Like it's so fun. Hello, sissy. It's um, so easy to just grab and run out the door. So I cut up apples ahead of time. I love Grady Smith, but you can cut up any kind. And check this out. Now, the stores sell out of this brand or this um, flavor quicker than any other flavor. So when I see it, I grab like six. But look at this. It's salted caramel um, Greek yogurt. Each one of these containers has 15 grams of protein and um, it's only 100 calories. And guys, like this will keep me full for hours and it's delicious. It's almost like um, eating the caramel dip with your apples without having all of that sugar. So anyway, this is one of my favorite snacks and I just thought I'd share that with y'all. All right, okay, my light is going in and out. Don't know what's going on, but we are gonna paint anyway. All right, I'm gonna tilt my camera down. Hopefully that's okay. Um, let me try to get a little bit better light for you. All right, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. 
good morning. I got lots of people from Kentucky this morning. Like, that makes me super excited. Let's see. Oh, man. I am struggling today. Okay. So, I'm going to get some black paint. Guys, this would be a good time if you have an apron to put it on. You know, that would be the right thing to do. But I'm going to squirt some black out. I get this question a lot, so I'm going to go ahead and address it. You can use any type of acrylic paint you want. Um, I have random ones because sometimes companies will send me samples. And so right now, this is the black that I have in my drawer, which if you've never watched me before, let me roll this over so you can see. As crafters, we tend to have a whole lot of craft supplies. And what I found years ago is if you don't stay organized and you don't have a way to kind of put your craft supplies away and get them back out when you're ready, um, you're never going to craft. So right now at Aldi, they have the carts with the drawers for $24. So if you have an Aldi close to you, um, I would highly suggest you get one. I have a double because I've got so many different types of craft supplies. But what's so awesome about this is I take one drawer out. I took the top drawer out. Good morning, Rebecca. Um, and I can I can turn my paint upside down. Good morning, Tamara from Alabama. Um, I can turn my paint upside down, which makes it always ready to squirt out. And I can see all my colors, and it just slides right in. If I want to pull this tray out and go sit at my table and paint, I can pull that tray out. So anyway, I love to stay organized when it comes to craft supplies because if you don't stay organized, chances are you're never going to want to pull your supplies out. Hi, Robin from Florida. How are you this morning, love? All right, so I've got some black, but you can use any brand. Like I have Deco Art, I have Anita's. Um, that this one is a little bit thicker. It's a premium acrylic. You can use whatever you have um, You can even water down your acrylics if they get too thick. Okay, I am gonna use this later It's a deco art metallic and I love the deco art metallics love them. I keep silver chrome or um, Silver and bronze and gold in my stash all the time. So I buy these at Hobby Lobby I don't know if Walmart carries those but I'm also going to grab a bright yellow, let's see, this is called Honey Brown. I don't know that this is the one I want. Well, that might work. Usually I would go with King's Gold, but I don't see it this morning. Oh, maybe that's it. Oh, this is called Antique Gold. Okay, so I'm going to use Antique Gold, brown, white, black, and that shimmery metallic. Those are That's what I'm gonna put on my palette today. Put all this back. Guys, if, um, I don't know how y'all are, but if I get too, like if my area gets too messy, I just shut down emotionally. Do y'all do that? So I try to keep, um, keep it picked up somewhat. All right, so let me put that back. And I hope it's okay. I'm gonna snack on my Greek yogurt and my apples while I paint. Got a full day today. My daughter, who is gonna be 12 next month, she um has decided. Hey, God, I'm so excited that y'all are all on this morning. She has decided that she wants to try contacts, and so this week, which is kind of scary for a mom, I got them when I was in sixth grade, which is what she's in. But um, I don't know. I feel like she's not old enough yet. But anyway, so that's gonna be a big thing this week. Um, she's also starting swim team this next, I guess that's next week. My son's finishing up wrestling, so we've just had, good morning, Melissa. Um, Kathy, hi from Florida. Tanya, good morning. All right, loves. So, anyway, we've just had a lot going on. <gasps> hey, my goodness, y'all are making me so happy this morning. I um, was not going to hop on live today because... I'm a little bit shaky, and it's been so long, honestly, that I've been on live that it was in the group painting that I was like, um, well, I don't know if I'm ready for this, but I'm jumping right in. So, I'm just painting this black. If you just joined me, I grabbed this from Dollar Tree. It's super thin. 
So if you are gonna use it on your door, I would suggest you make sure that you use a good clear coat. Um, I wanna show you my favorite, but I don't see it. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna show you my favorite. Um, Ginger, I'm, I'm going rogue today, no ap apron. Martha, thank you. Um, so if you just joined, um, I have an earring group where all the earrings are 10 bucks. And I'll show you some of the ones that I have in the group. So these are like a, a brownish um, green, like, I don't know, really neutral. And I've got like these. But anyway, everything's 10 bucks. So if you want to um, join that group, just let me know and I'll send you the link. Look at that. Every time I put my hand up, I lose light. Melissa, you're so sweet. You are so sweet. Okay, so I have roughly put a coat of black on here. I don't know why. This light's driving me crazy. All right, now I'm going to dip into my white. Still have my brush, still have the black on my brush. But I'm going to, while it's still wet, I'm going to bring some of this um, white let me add a little bit more black up here. Um, I need to go all the way up here. But I'm gonna add some white to my black to, to make it look gray. Yes, I will post the link. Um, Cause yes, our, so I, I tend to, to be very transparent um, because I want, I never want anyone to like jump on and I don't know, get a preconceived notion that like, I know what I'm doing or everything's perfect with my family or I've always been a very transparent, um, like I suffer from anxiety and depression. Um, I paint with a trimmer. Like there's just, there's nothing, uh, uh, there's nothing about me that's perfect. So I, I try to portray that, hey guys, um, this is who I am. Well, in saying that, um, if you joined a little bit earlier, I said that I've started selling um, Color Street nails because I fell in love with them, but, and also earrings. But I'll tell you the reason is we, our family has had, um, <laughs> thank you love, our family has had two mortgages now for, well, we've had this house for 10 years, but we've had a renter in it until this year and honestly, like we came to a point in December where my husband and I sat down and we needed to put a renter back in that house or we needed to come up with a way, I don't know if y'all can see, but there's just a light, like almost shading right here by pulling some of that white in. Anyway, my husband said, honey, I think, you know, we're getting to the point we've held this mortgage because we haven't had a renter in there. July 1st was the first month that we paid the whole thing by herself in about three years. Um, and so he, in December, we had kind of a family meeting, which I'm sure y'all understand that. Um, but he said, I think we need to put a renter back in. Like, I don't think we can float these two um, mortgages. And we have done that, because I don't know, that's really hard to see, but I did some shading right here. I brought in, while this black was still wet, I put a little bit of white on my brush and just brought it over, okay? So, um, let me, I'll get back to my story. So anyway, my husband had said, you know, I think that's what we need to do. And we are, we are a Christian family. We don't do everything right. Um, we struggle just like everybody else, whether it's emotionally, finances, raising our kids, like all the things. Um, but I, he has always been very much valued my opinion. Um, and I hope that if you're married or if you're considering getting married or whatever, that you pick someone who respects you and values your opinion as well. Um, no, we never have it all together. Uh, but when we have conversations like that, I always defer to his judgment because biblically he is the head of the house. But in saying that, he always defers back to me. Can y'all see that? So I didn't get gray out. What I did was I went straight to white um, to do this and I just made the handle silver. 
or look silver. You can actually go back and add like a chrome to it so it's shimmery. Okay, so anyway, telling you my story. So I I told him in December, I said, honey, um, we have spent so much money and we have put this house on the market for, you know, six months at a time and it not sold. And this has been a cycle for 10 years for us. So I said, I would prefer to um, hustle my business more, um, which means, you know, recruiting more members to my virtual paint party, selling, um, I had to add selling, you know, other stuff. Um, but I would rather do that then put a renter back in that house and us go through the cycle again for another five years. All right, so in saying that, he said, honey, that's fine. Well, at that point, I took it upon myself to make sure that the amount of money I bring in every month um, will cover that mortgage because when we had that conversation and we deferred to that, that's what I committed to. And I'm very much a... Um, I'm very much a go-getter, and if I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do my very best to, to achieve that. So, I have been. So, I've been kind of quiet because I've been hustling in other ways. But um, that's part of the reason that I started selling earrings, and I have the $10 earring group. And I started, um, they call it, it's so funny, I love it. They, <laughs> I fell in love with the color street. Um, but... They call it slinging nail strips or slinging nail stickers. And like, guys, I love, I send samples out every day. And it is so fun to me to watch people try them and realize that they can do fun manicures at home. So anyway, in saying that, that's why I've kind of been absent lately. Um, and yes, Ginger, you're right. It is so important. All right, I'm going to paint. Here's where we're at. And like I said, the light's kind of hard, but you can kind of see that there's a... A shading, a very um, subtle shading. So anyway, I've been trying to make sure that I keep that commitment to my family and bring in um, enough money every month. I don't know what's going on with my light, Ginger. I'm having a day with the light, and it was one of those, like, um, Satan, get away from me, because I'm going to paint whether my light works or not. So I don't know what's going on with my light. It's, I don't know. Sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to brush this on. I got a little bit of black in there, but that's totally okay. We're just going to roll with it because these are going to be gold coins. And it's okay if they are a little bit, um, if they have, if they're not solid gold, because we're going to want them to have a little bit of texture. All right, friends, when you load your brush, when you want to get a good, um, okay, ginger, yeah, it's not. When you want to get a good crisp line, I'm going to show you what you need to do. I need to get a little bit more black, put it on my plate. It's every time I reach across, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to get a little bit more black. I'm going to get a flat tip paintbrush. Friends, use what you have, okay? Um, you don't need, I, I get a lot of messages like what brand is your paintbrush, whatever. Use what you have. Um, don't get hung up on that. Get hung up on, I'm going to do something creative. Okay, so I'm going to get my flat brush. I'm going to load one side of it with paint. So one side. See that? How Does it have much? That has a lot. And then I'm going to go really slow right along the, the line that I need to be crisp. So for me, I want it to be this black line. So I'm gonna go right along there. When my paint starts to run out, I load that brush again. This is such a cute little piece. All right, so I load it and I just go slow right along that line. And I just keep doing that until I get that line exactly how I want it. All right, so if you learn nothing else today, um, learn that to get your crisp line, you need to load your brush. All right, now, because I did that and I had some shading right here, I'm gonna pull some white right underneath that. 
just a little bit. I don't want it to be all white. I just want to add just a little bit. Yes, Dollar Tree has a lot of cute cutouts. The only thing I would say is the wood is so thin that if you're going to use it outside, and especially if you don't have a covered porch, you want to make sure that you're using a really good sealer. All right, so I think I'm done with that. Now, normally, I may use whatever brush you have, um, but where that um, does not hold true is when I want to make polka dots. I understand the hustle game is being long. Yes, Amber, that's it. And you know, honestly, painting um, wasn't, I knew that in the, in the short term, because my virtual paint party is not open, um, I knew that that wasn't going to be enough. And so, like, you do what you have to do. And honestly, like, I love all the things that I do. So, um, anyway, yeah. All right. So, I just put paint on my brush. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set it down and I'm going to twirl. And you're not going to see a lot um, because I just want... I just want it to be subtly different because I'm going to kind of make these coins. <laughs> yes, that's it. Um, and I, if you are new to watching me, um, Ginger is in my private group and we do um, one new door hanger a month and then we do some other projects. And this month we're doing the gnome and I have lots of extras that I can ship out if anyone wants to do them. But um, it is very important that you use the right kind of wood, that you seal them right. But um, this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I get it. Can y'all see that I'm just kind of defining all of those gold coins? But yes, if you are just getting into painting and you just want to try it, I highly suggest you visit Dollar Tree at least once a week. Maybe even ask them like what day they restock and um, go in and see what they get for especially Easter. Easter is gonna be fun, I think. So, um, go in and see what they're getting in. Yes, Amber, I'm so proud of you. Thank you for sharing that. Guys, um, we have got to become a generation that lifts other women up and helps them and cheers them on. <laughs> Ginger, you're so sweet. Um, and that's exactly what I hope that if you're watching, you get from this live. All right, friends, can y'all see those dots? I'm just layering them. There's no, I'm kind of doing the back first and then bringing the other ones up, but it's okay if the back ones show on top. You're just kind of adding layers. So this is how I make my polka dots. I load my brush and I just spin. Isn't that awesome, Ginger? I'm so proud of her. I'm so proud of like women doing what it takes to make ends meet. And um, for me, it's very important that I am home when my kids need me and can do things like volunteer at school because those, those things are important to me right now. They're important to my kids. Um, it's something that I didn't necessarily have growing up. My mom worked outside of the home and she wasn't the one who could show up for parties and things like that, which is fine. But what I've learned, um, what I've learned over the years is that was a really big priority for me uh, to, to be able to stay home and show up when they needed me to. Um, there was a day a couple weeks ago. Now, middle school's hard. I think we all can agree that like middle school, it's hard. And there was a day a couple weeks ago that I had so much work to do. Um, my, my business partner in Kentucky, Christy and I, we coach creative women on how to make money selling online. And so I have that and then I have the painting and then I have all the other stuff going on. Well, she called from school and she, she needed an emotional day. She just needed an emotional day. And I could tell from the call that I got that she wasn't really sick. She said she was sick, but she wasn't really sick. Okay, can y'all see that? We're gonna leave it for right now. I'm gonna let that dry. Um, but she wasn't really sick, but she needed to come home. So she came home and I didn't let her have electronics. She couldn't watch TV, you know, all the things. 
but she did sit in here and hang out with me and we had a really good mom daughter day which if you have a 10 11 12 year old like that's the age I feel like they kind of start disconnecting <laughs> Terry you're so funny um and so that day was super important to me um do I am I an advocate for pulling them out of school um no but it was, it, it's a blessing that, um, you know, I was able to go get her and spend that time with her. Um, so anyway, yeah. Okay, I'm going to eat some of this because I'm really hungry. Um, I don't know. Do I, what do I want to write on here? Hmm. <laughs> this is starting to dry. But what I want to do is go back and add a little bit of the shimmery gold all right friends when you do this you want to think about it like if the light was shining on to your project where would it hit so if I do this way I'm gonna do every side this way so I'm gonna highlight with this shimmery gold, the top left of each one of my circles. Just the top left. Can y'all see that? Um, so, thank you, Summer Dawn. Yes, um, and Amber, um, I've done that before. Yeah, I, um, I do wine and paint parties at my studio. And I have a lot of people that end up doing that. And they're like, ah! need new water and new wine so all right so just the top left now I want to show you something it's gonna be kind of hard to um so, yes it summer you're right it, it really is okay so it's kind of hard to show you I'm gonna wait until I can find the right light maybe I can't um but when you need to pay attention. Like I have one that is underneath this other one. So I don't want to go down too far because I want it to still look like it's tucked under. So just watch when you're shading and when you're doing um, these that you pay attention to which ones are in front and which ones are behind because that's going to make a huge difference in your painting. Summer, um, message me. And um, I will add you to our group. We're doing a live free training, I believe it's Wednesday, on how to make money selling online. <gasps> Thank you, Amber. I appreciate you. All right, let's see. Yes, Terry, that is so true. Okay, guys. Gosh, I wish I could get a really good image of this. This turned out super cute. I can see all of my gold shimmers. I only did them on the top left. And I did that. I will tell you how I did that. So I started off painting um, this gold color. Let's find it. The background, everything was, no, I'm sorry. This color, this like bright yellow, okay? I, I Bright yellow on the back with a little bit of this gold, antique gold. Then I took straight antique gold and I used my brush and I did my polka dots. Then when they were almost dry, I highlighted them with that shimmery gold, okay? If you're just joining me, I'm so very sorry um, about the light today. All right, what do I wanna write on here? Um, Luck of the Irish, maybe? All right, I'm gonna get a pencil, um, and I'm gonna write in pencil first because I can always cover it back up. I can always paint it. Do you sell blanks? Yes, Amber, I do sell blanks. I don't sell this one. This one came from Dollar Tree. Um, I sell blanks on my website, but I'll show you what we're painting in our private group today. Ah, it's gonna be a gnome holding a shamrock. Hey, Latricia. Oh, and guys, I forgot to tell y'all when Latricia jumped on it, help me remember. Um, my friend Casey is closing her lettering group today. And if you've always wanted to learn to hand letter, um, let me know and I'll send you the link to get more information. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna do it. Remember, just paint and cover it up. So I'm gonna draw my lettering in white pencil first. Mm, that's gonna be too big. Okay, so when I mess up, I'm gonna grab my paintbrush. Um, Jessica, send shoot. Oh, lucky me! Oh, I like that. Okay, let me redo this. Tell me one more time. The gold, silver, and bronze shimmer it makes it shiny. It's always matte, not shiny. So it's glimmer. It's a glimmer, and it doesn't say that. It says extreme sheen by Deco Art. Let me show you the other ones. There's one, I think, called Champagne. Um, Jessica, could you shoot me a message? And <clears throat> I'll shoot you that link. Yes, Ginger, she is amazing. All right, Bronze is another one. Um, let me find. Okay, this one is in an, a different kind of bottle. It's called a Dazzling Metallic. I don't know if it's just an older bottle or if this is a newer bottle. Um, but this one is... Let me get this so we can see it. There we go. It's called Champagne Gold, and I really like this gold. But there's all different ones. There's a silver somewhere. I just can't find it right now. Um, but I highly recommend that you um, have these on hand. Get one of every color. They'll last you forever. Um, but they just add a little bit to your painting. All right, let me throw these back. Oh, and I have a blue one, which is super awesome. Let me show you. It's um, it's called Sapphire, and it's a shimmer, and it's just really fun. Check out that live Wednesday. Okay, let me see. I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to paint over this real quick because I don't like it. So, friends, this is the one thing I tell my group all the time is it's just paint. Um, if you don't like it, paint over it. That's what's great about acrylics just paint right over it and this dries pretty quickly I will need to go back and add in my um, my shading so I don't lose that completely when I cover it up and that blue so fun let's see Another way that you can do your lettering before, like, not permanently. Yes, Sissy, that's where I get the um, the deco art paint is from Hobby Lobby. All right, friends. I'm just going to shade this in real quick. Just add a little bit of white. Good morning, Miss Mary. Um, if anyone wants, though, I do have the a freebie right now where you can get um, a set of 30 welcome templates that you can trace onto your board. Um, I can send you the link to those. So just make sure if you want that, that you sign up for that. You'll go to the website, um, enter your email address, and then it'll send you that email. All right. I'm just drying this super fast. And... I'm going to eat another apple. Hmm. I've got to remember when I get off. I'm going to give you all the link to the earring group. The link to my Color Street group. Um, Kathy... I don't know the exact link right now because I just put it up on Friday, but I will get that for you. Um, Mary, the diet's good. I've lost 10 pounds, and I feel really good. I don't feel like I've deprived myself. I ate donuts yesterday. So, anyway, it's going really good. 
Um, so I'm going to send you these two links, and then I'm going to send you, oh, I can give y'all, if you want it, um, while this dries, I can give you the link to purchase the gnome template, or gnome cutout, or if you want just the template, I can do that too. And then, I'm trying to think, um, oh, the link to Casey's lettering group, I can give you that link. I think all the things, man, it's been a lot this morning, and we've talked about a lot of stuff. If anybody wants my Noom link, too, like, I love Noom. I've really enjoyed it. My mom is doing it with me, and we've really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. It's almost dry. You know what I'm going to do before I write on there? My daughter took all of my pencils. Um, yes, I will get all those links. Now give me just a few minutes when I get off, and I'll give you all those links. My um, my daughter took all of my colored pencils. She's been drawing a lot, which I love, but that means that my supplies disappear. Okay, now I'm going to. This is um, a trick if I am wanting to make sure my lettering is going to be exactly like I want it. I can I can write it on paper first and then transfer it. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm sorry about the light. Okay, so I'm going to do, I think I'm going to go ahead and do Luck of the Irish because, let's see. And I can straighten any of this up if I do it on paper first. Um, I don't like that K. And then let's do of. The. Irish. Let's go low. All right, I want to work on this K. I think I want to drop it down. Let's just see. Bye, sweet friend. Have a good day. All right. So, I wrote it out on here, just roughly how I want it. And if I had white graphite paper, I could put that underneath here and draw it straight on. I will tell you a trick with these Dollar Tree pieces. Is they are so thin that if you press down hard enough, you'll see your transfer. Okay? So, I'm going to set this where I want it. Let's see. I need to go a little bit lower. <clears throat> and then I'm going to just transfer this on. So, I'm going to press down hard. And it doesn't have to be exact. If you see that you made a mistake when you were doing your template, just um, correct it when you put it down. I'm going to drop this down. Everybody having a good day today? All right, I'm going to pull this up. <clears throat> now, you're not going to be able to see it, but I can see the transfer on here. If you have, um, I believe Hobby Lobby sells the white graphite paper, but that's a really good thing to have on hand. All right, I need to make sure this is all the way dry, and then I am going to letter with my Posca pen, okay? If you don't, if you haven't watched before, or you don't haven't heard of Posca pens, they are the like the Cadillac of paint markers. And anyway, they're amazing. So I have them in all different colors, but I have m multiple of the white and the black because I use them all the time. 
All right, so that's not all the way dry there, so I'm gonna start at the bottom. <clears throat> and I'm essentially just gonna trace over these lines that I made. All right, sorry, I need to move that over. <clears throat> we'll let that dry. I'm gonna do this next one. Take your time. Don't freak out if you mess up. Remember, it's just paint. You can paint over it. <coughs> so, I have Luck of the Irish, but now I'm gonna make it fun. So, I'm going to, after, make sure this is dry, I'm gonna go over this again to bring it um, a little bit brighter. if you can tell but like that's the second time I went over the black with the white and um, the first time it's a little bit transparent so I just make sure that if I'm doing white on black I just go over it twice Who that's on here has had a Posca pen or has a Posca pen that they use? If you don't have one, I can send you my link so you can go get one because they're amazing. All right, I'm gonna come up here. I don't know if y'all saw when I was doing this, but I messed up just a little bit down there. So I'm gonna thicken right there so that you can't tell that I messed up. If you get any like black or any whatever colors underneath on your Posca pen, just make sure you get it all off on like, a piece of paper. Dana says she loves her Posca pens. Yes, send the link. I will do that, love. I will put all the links. Y'all will be so annoyed by the time I get all done. There's just so much fun stuff going on. Yes, Sissy says she uses them a lot too. They're amazing. Yes, Ginger too. See guys, it's not just me. We all love our Posca pins. And if you haven't used them yet, you're gonna use them and love them. All right, so I just need to go over the middle. But I want that to dry just a little bit because I don't want to put my hand in it. Thank you, Ginger, you're awesome. Okay, yep, Ginger just posted the link to my Amazon store while I list all of my favorite supplies, like graphite paper and all the things. And my Posca pins are on there. And yes, I have them in multiple sizes too. I will tell you, I think it's the 5M, no, is this 2.5? This one, the 1.8 to 2.5 is my favorite one for door hangers.
All right. I'm going to clean this up just a little bit with black and a small paintbrush. So I just got a small brush and there's some places that I messed my lettering up. So I'm just going to touch it up. Remember, it's just paint. Everything is fixable. If you paint a sign and you don't like it, just paint over it. I think that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to let this dry really good. And then I have, I don't know if it's over here at my desk. I have a gold. I also have silver. But I have a gold Posca pen that I'm going to go back and do some accents on my lettering. So, um, I don't see it over here. It must be at my desk. But, um, I'm going to jump off because I've got to go live painting or I've got to go in my other group to paint um, the gnome. But I hope that this was super helpful for you guys. I'm going to put lots of links up there for you. So if you're watching later, just check up above and I will have all the links that you would need for anything we talked about today. All right, guys, y'all have a fabulous day and happy Monday. I hope that it's amazing for each of you. Bye, friends.